With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us solve this question. The question says that assertion bond angle in ether is slightly greater than normal tetrahedral angle 109.5 degree and reason is the hybridization of oxygen atom in ether is sp3. So in this question two statements are given assertion and reason we have to check whether these are true or not and according to that we have to select one option. Four options are given here. So in assertion it is given bond angle in ether is slightly greater than the normal tetrahedral angle 109.5 degree. So if we see the structure of ether, so in ether we have oxygen and to this oxygen we have two R groups attached. Right and on this oxygen there are two lone pairs. So you can show the lone pairs like this. So if we talk about the geometry of this ether, so for finding out the geometry, we have to find out the hybridization of oxygen. So for that, we can calculate the steric number and steric number equal to number of lone pairs plus number of bond pairs. So as you can see on oxygen, we have two lone pairs plus oxygen is making two bonds with two R groups. So bond pairs are also 2. So steric number is 4. And 4 steric number means the hybridization will be sp3. Right. So here oxygen is sp3 hybridized. Now for sp3 hybridized, the geometry should be tetrahedral. Right. So the geometry is tetrahedral. And tetrahedral angle should be 109.5. But what happens here there will be lone pair lone pair repulsion right so according to lone pair lone pair repulsion this angle will decrease so it should be less than tetrahedral but this is not so because here we have r groups and r groups which are alkyl groups they are bulky right so due to the bulky r groups they will push away each other due to which here the bond angle will increase right so bulky R groups or you can say alkyl groups push each other due to which angle increases due to which bond angle increases. So here the bond angle in ether is 111.7 degree which is more than the tetrahedral angle. Right. So assertion is true. Now in reason it is given hybridization of oxygen atom in ether is sp3. This is correct hybridization is sp3 but it is not explaining the assertion. This is true but not explaining the assertion. So the correct option will be if both assertion and reason are true but the reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion then mark 2. So this will be the correct option here. So option 2 is the answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.